And the future's going to be, we're actually thinking about the moment and listening to our breathing. Or, or doing a mantra or something, or, or saying a prayer. We're doing something that we're very present in the moment, and because of that, we're changing the, the nature of the chemicals from the brain. We're bathing the cells in a different light, so to speak. Bathing the cells, which gets information into the DNA. We're bathing the DNA in a different light of consciousness, so to speak, a different thought process, different information. So 1,561 genes were affected, and in particular, 874 of them were upregulated. Scientists call it upregulation. You know if all these Christmas tree lights had a dimmer switch? Well, 874 of the dimmer switch had been turned up. So 874 of these genes got brighter. Like that. Brighter. We actually brightened 806, 874 genes through just doing that. Isn't that absolutely extraordinary? <laughs> it blows me away. Right. And many of those genes were, were involved in the body's response to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress it can be produced by mental and emotional stress, psychological stress. Free radicals are oxidative stress. They, they accelerate the aging process. They play a role in many diseases. Many disease processes are accelerated through oxidative stress. So what the Harvard scientists concluded, because many of these genes affected were the body's response to oxidative stress, the scientists concluded that this is actual proof that meditation slows down the aging process. It really does, it slows the aging process down. Uh, another study looked at a hormone called DHEA, which is dehydroepiandrosterone. That's another big word for you. Dehydroepiandrosterone. It's a, a hormone that's loosely tied in with the aging process. What you find in most people as we age, DHEA levels go down like that. Scientists taught people simple meditation and then followed them. A group of 45 year old males, what they found is after three months of meditation, just a basic meditation, Meditators compared to non-meditators, DHEA in the meditators was 23% higher. In women, the DHEA level difference was 47%. Right? Extraordinary. So maybe women are better at meditating. Or maybe us men just have so much more in our minds. <laughs> so much more to worry about. <laughs> My girlfriend would absolutely disagree. She wrote a book called God Must Be a Man. <laughs> All the stuff that women have got to go through that men don't. <laughs> <laughs> she would totally disagree. But anyway, there seems to be a difference in how women's hormones, DHEA, responds to meditation. But the bottom line is, that hormone does respond to meditation, and it slows down the aging process. And that's why people who have been meditating for a long time actually look younger. I mean, I turned 87 last week. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet I don't look a day over 80. <laughs> I bet I only look 37. <laughs> but it's amazing, it really slows down the aging process. Right? And part of that reason is because we impact 1,561 genes. Actually, what they found is long-term meditators, the difference in, gene difference in number of genes was over 2,200. So the longer we meditate, the more the body benefits from it. Right? 2,200 genes. That's not just one or two. 2,200. It's a lot of genes. Right? And you know, meditation, I mentioned we change the structure of the brain by thoughts. Meditate. Long-term meditators have a thicker head. No, a thicker brain. <laughs> the frontal, the prefrontal cortex just above the eyes in long-term meditators is thicker than it is in people who don't meditate. And I, I, I set a, a study that looked that took a, a scans of the brain, thickness of the prefrontal cortex, and people aged from 20, 25, 30, 35, right up to 60. And what they found in people who don't meditate, the thickness of the cortex, use it or lose it, you know, you don't use a muscle that gets weaker. If you don't use your brain actively, then you, you get this neural pruning effect and we lose some of the, the cells because we're not, we're not fertilizing them, we're not feeding them. So the frontal cortex, people don't meditate, gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner, and thinner as we age. Not so in meditators. Instead of going like that, people with long-term meditators actually went like that and it actually got thicker. People in their 60s who've been meditating for a long time actually have thicker, cor thicker frontal cortex Texas and people who are 25, right? Extraordinary. It's because we change the structure of our brains through how we process the daily experiences of our lives, how we think. Through meditation, some forms of meditation encourage compassion, mindfulness, but they generate a more peaceful state. And it's that difference, that peaceful state, that alters the structure at the front of the brain because that is where that part of, that way of thinking is processed. 
Because different thoughts are processed in different parts of the brain, but the part that processes peace and compassion and love and kindness are all at the front of the brain. Gratitude, appreciation. That's why I've been talking about gratitude, cutting down, complaining, going for appreciation and gratitude, because they're all processed at the front part of the brain. Right? So we're actually benefiting ourselves at the, the cellular level in the brain. But one of the things I find so fascinating, I find so much, I say one of the things, I find so much of this fascinating. <laughs> That, but the application of it is how we can actually use our minds to heal our bodies, right? Because, uh, as I said, I've been collecting stories from people all around the world who've been healing themselves, and they all do the exact same strategy. And scientists are now actually exploring this and finding that, you know, if, if you had a disease or a damage to one part of the body, you would visualise healing that part, right? And what we're actually discovering now is that part is affected at the cellular level but not any other part of the body, just that part. Right? It's amazing. Scientists at the Karolinska Institute, which is where Nobel Prize winners in medicine give their lectures, right? it's a very big, big deal, they noticed that if I had to think of my big toe, and if you had to scan the brain, you have to scan the brain, and you find that the brain has lots of areas that process different muscles, different muscular movements. So there's a part of the brain that processes the muscles in the big toe, there's another part that processes that finger muscle, and that finger muscle. And you have lots of wee areas, they're called brain maps, right? For example, if a person who, who's gone blind learns Braille, and they start to use the fingertip, at first, the fingertip isn't very sensitive, because the brain map, the area that, of the brain that controls those, those nerves, is very, very small. But after seven days' practice, the brain map has enlarged, and the sensitivity of the finger increases, because we're sending a signal from that part of the brain right down to the finger, and vice versa, and the signal back up there to the brain. And the brain map begins to enlarge, and the sensitivity of the finger increases. But if I just have to move, imagine moving my big toe, then the part of the brain that governs the big toe expands. That The brain map expands. If I had to imagine moving my tongue, right, or just move my tongue, or imagine moving it, then the same part, the part of the brain that controls my tongue muscles does exactly the same thing. So whatever, whatever part of the, the, the body that you move or imagine moving, the brain is stimulated in that specific place. It's like those plasma balls, but it moves from bzz here to bzz to there to there, and it's all controlled by what you're thinking about. Where you place your attention in the body activates the different parts of the brain bzz, 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 that you place your attention in. Different parts of the brain that control the bit of the body that you pay attention to. Like, absolutely incredible. Uh, I'll give you a really good example of that. Scientists from Harvard taught people who never played piano a simple five-finger combination on the piano. Simple, they went plunk, 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 and they did that for two hours, Monday to Friday. It's really boring. Plunk, 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 plunk. At the start, scientists took brain scans and looked at the brain maps. For, each of the, for, for some of the finger muscles, and they found that the Monday was that size, but the Tuesday was that size, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the brain map for all these muscles had increased in size, which you would expect. Another group of people, instead of doing plunk, 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 guess what they did? They imagined it. So they sat in a room for two hours, Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and went plunk, 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 in their minds, plunk, 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 plunk. Scientists took the brain scans, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You couldn't tell the difference between whether they'd actually gone plunk, 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 or just imagined it. I have a copy of, a, a photocopy from, a, a, from the actual scientific publication in the house, and I cannot tell the difference between the people who did that and the people who imagined it. The brain changes are exactly the same. I actually got a set of slides I use if I'm giving a, a big lecture with a overheads and all that. And I compare the two, and you, no one can tell the difference between plunk, 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 and imagining plunk, 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 plunk. But what's amazing is the actual finger muscles are stimulated and grow stronger as well just through imagining it. And we know